Welcome back to Alternative Authority Content. And in this video, we are going to be talking about a certain kind of authoritative video, creating screencast video content. Now, this kind of content is actually very popular with marketers because you can literally show people what's going on on your screen while you narrate at the same time. It's very effective in being able to communicate concepts. It's very effective in being able to show things that are technical in nature. Now, this kind of video content is going to be uh, advantageous to you, especially when you've got to do something where you need someone to look over your shoulder and to follow you. And for you to have to explain it over and over again would be ineffective. However, um, it becomes the kind, of, uh, the kind of content that, again, positions you as an expert when you are able to explain to someone how to do something that would be extremely difficult otherwise for them to do and understand on their own. Now, it's especially helpful in creating authoritative content when you use your PowerPoint presentation slides. As a matter of fact, the video that you're watching right now is created with PowerPoint presentation slides. It's also a screencast video. So as you can see, it's a powerful concept for you to be able to literally dictate to the, the viewer what they can accomplish by watching what it is that you do. Now, in some cases, um, you can choose to do a screen share video while appearing in it at the same time. And just so that you'll get, a, get an idea of what this looks like, let's take a look. And as you can see, it's a very popular thing for video creators to be able to do, to be able to appear in their actual video. Now, of course, to be able to do a screen share video, you will need some kind of software that does accomplish this. And we suggest that you take a look at Camtasia Studio, which was mentioned earlier, as well as ScreenFlow for Mac. Now, there are other substitute, substitute uh, screen share programs. However, these two are the gold standard, and they allow you to both edit as well as create. And they also give you the option of being able to create audio at the same time. Now, whether or not you're talking about Camtasia for the PC, uh, you are talking about a pretty stiff price tag, as you can see here. You're also talking about pretty much the same thing when you're looking at uh, uh, ScreenFlow for the Mac, depending on what your budget is. Now, there are some substitutes that you can use until you, you're able to get these programs. There is the program Screencast-O-Matic that's available, as well as another one, uh, which is called Cam Studio. Once again, you probably ought to consider these as substitutes until you can afford to get uh, either Camtasia or ScreenFlow, depending on which system that you are using. Now, one thing to be aware of is that some marketers are actually using Google Hangouts to record their screen sharing videos. And now when you do that, though, what you need to be aware of is that there is a second step. You are going to need to download that video from YouTube and then you'll need to edit it either in YouTube or in some other program. But the screen sharing function is available inside of Google Hangouts. And as you can see, it's a very popular function to be used inside of Google Hangouts in many cases, and many marketers are actually using it, as well as many video creators who use Google Hangouts in order to create their videos. So creating authoritative content using video does not require you to, to appear on screen. In fact, you can create videos where you are showing what it is that you're presenting. You can show what it is that you are doing on your computer screen. And you can literally show whatever you'd like to from your PC. That means then that creating video can be whatever you want that will get your customer or your prospect to take action or to give them the information that they want to position you as an expert. What's most important in a screencast video is that you are prepared before you start and that you edit it appropriately so that your your viewer will understand what it is that you are communicating and that they will want to see more of your content. In most cases, you'll want to make sure that your video is around about five minutes or less so that you will not strain people's attention span. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.